Welcome back. Waterfront property. It's one of those things that many South Floridians dream about. But it is keeping some residents in the city of Margate awake at night. They fear the crumbling seawalls bordering their properties could cause them to lose their homes altogether. And they say the city is just turning its back on them. Here's Bob Norman with the story. Margate Mayor Arlene Schwartz wanted to see it for herself. This is our seawall here. And but what she walking. saw during a tour of the city's canals was alarming. Seawalls cracking, drooping, looking as if they might crumble into the water. It looks like at least that back end is definitely going to fall in. Then we came to what many believe might be the canary in the coal mine for dozens of homeowners. When it fell, it was like, oh my God. Van Jones said she didn't know what to think when her seawall crashed into the canal. It had to be quite scary because it's like, okay, what happens with our property? Next door was worse with the home right on the edge of collapse. And every day was a little bit further out and then one day it fell over. And that's what we have now. The cost for repairing the damage between the two properties is about $200,000, something both said they simply can't afford. I feel like my back is against the wall. There's no columns on the sea walls. There's no weep holes on the to relieve the pressures. Up and down? Yeah, all the way up and down. Dan and Lisa Parrish say it's only a matter of time before disaster strikes at their home. Physics, I mean, one day, unfortunately, it's eventually going to fall in. Yeah, okay. easy $200,000. Can you afford $200,000? No. The house is probably, what, $300,000. You're, you're at a loss. It's, it's a scary thing. In many places, the walls are separating from the banks, like the home of Rose Kafari and Michelle Jerebic, who I'm live on East River Drive. I can throw dirt in there until I'm blue in the face. How do I fix the seawall? The surveys tell us that we're only half owning that, that the city owns half and we own half. Here's that survey, which shows the property line running through the center of the seawall. Parrish says the survey for his home shows that the seawall is city property, but the city disputes that. People are going to say, you know what, I don't want to live in Mario because God forbid my seawall falls down. The issue was raised at a recent commission meeting where it became clear the city's stance is that the walls are the homeowner's responsibility. That's against the law for us to use city money to upgrade private property. The city can't fix it. The city's taking a very hard line here. Is it fair? Is it right? No, absolutely not. I mean, my house is falling into the canal. Mayor Schwartz said she's trying to find a middle ground. But this clearly has a public use. It's needed for flood control and right. all manner of public uses. I believe the problem is that if the city were to be able to just expend the city funds alone on this, it would bankrupt the city. She said an assessment needs to be done on all the seawalls and set a special taxing district, which would put the onus on the homeowners, but spread out the cost might be the answer. And I'm sure people are not going to be happy to have to contribute. If we have no control over the water being raised and lowered, why are we responsible to fix it? If you all had to pay $100,000 to do this, how? Move. move. So this could be devastating to your lives. Oh, it is. Absolutely. On the Margate Canals, Bob Norman, Local 10 News. Incredible. And Bob tells us there is some good news for those neighbors whose seawalls collapsed, although the city refused to pay. The city's Community Redevelopment Agency, which is financed by business tax dollars, is replacing the wall. And that construction is expected to start Monday.